Last night, Butte, we had some high clouds, kept our overnight low down around 5 degrees. Tonight, clear skies, so it could be a little colder by early tomorrow morning. So the next 24 hours, uh, more colder than normal weather is expected. I'm Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd, reporting for KXLF.com, keeping an eye on my uh, forecast for Butte for friends and family and all of our viewers there in the mining city. You can see high pressure locked into place. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. It can't because you got deep low pressure on one side and on the other and the jet stream going way up and over. So we've trapped this high for the next week or so across the Pacific Northwest. A lot of colder air being dragged down into the central and eastern United States and rain has changed over to snow as far south as central Texas. You can see a little high cloud cover overhead for us, but not a lot of organization. We're the cold spots again today. We're only in the 20s and 30s this afternoon, but 40s and 50s in wind-prone areas along the Rocky Mountain front. So Butte, uh, not a lot of cloud cover here. There might be some high thin cirrus, but generally clear and cold. I think we could end up down there around zero or maybe even slightly below by early tomorrow morning. Forecast models would like to put our highs in the upper 30s tomorrow, but I think inversions may actually keep us around 30 degrees for highs over the next several days. So as you look at the planner outlook, after sunset, we'll be holding into the 20s, but eventually slipping into the teens, single digits, and down around zero by tomorrow morning.